As some of you may or may not know, the goal at the moment for me is to push the 82 kilos. This is how my week looks training nutrition wise to get there. So, to give you an insight, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday I've got an upper workout, Tuesday lower, Wednesday is off. Then uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday I have chest drives, shoulders, chest and arms. Training everything twice per week and at home of course and then Sunday is off as well. On each day I will always do 10,000 steps. I also start each morning with the exception of Wednesday with half an hour of cardio on the treadmill which is right there just to get some steps in, just to get the step up. It's just an incline walk in the treadmill to get sweat going. Helps with digestion, helps with keeping things moving so again it's beneficial even if you're trying to build muscle. Training days, so this is my macronutrient targets. So I have 250 protein, 450, uh, nope, my workout's still going there. Um, I'll end that. 450 carbs and 125 fat, that is a lot of food. It's close to 3,500 ish calories at the moment, I could kind of know the exact number. Rest days slightly less, so the, the, the fats are higher, the carbs are much lower. And then I have a hard, a high carb day on Friday and Saturday, where it's more carbohydrates, but the protein and fats are slightly lower. So, that is how my calories look for the week at the moment. Again, trying to build up just now. Nutrition is tracked and flexible, so I track using my fitness pal. I record my data, I repeat similar meals throughout the week. I generally pick a handful of meals each week and repeat them, make life easy, and it's flexible. So I can eat whatever the fuck I want as long as I hit those targets. Now, that does not mean I just fit as much shit into those targets as I can. The goal is still to eat around 80 to 90% of those foods from high quality, micronutrient dense whole natural foods that's how my week looks at the moment that's how my training looks what is your current split at the moment comment below or reply to a story or something let me know also if you haven't picked up our completely new free guide which is the at home workout guide the fat loss forever home workout guide complete home workouts you can do at in the house fully structured all the reps all the sets all the exercises with instructional videos and a free meal plan along with it vote here or somewhere or comment meal plan or something like that below and i'll get your copy across <laughs> Do you have a structure when it comes to your workouts and nutrition? I have just finished off my, my leg workout for today, absolute killer. If you're stuck, if you're struggling, if you are not moving forward when it comes to progress, it's coming down to one thing. You're not following a structure. You have no plan, you have no progression, you have no way of moving forward. So... The, what you need to do in order to, to get the ball rolling is create that structure. What days are you working out? What are the exercises? How many sets? How many reps? What weight did you use? And what are you going to do next week? Unless you're progressing, unless you're moving forward, you're completely wasting your fucking time. Same with nutrition. Are you tracking or do you have a, a plan to follow or something where you can gauge how what you've actually taken in on a daily basis? Flexible nutrition will allow you to do that and eat the food you love. Funnily enough, <laughs> I've talked about it for a long time. Now, if you want that done for you, just vote here or comment guide below. I will send you across a completely free home workout guide and meal plan that will get the ball rolling. F -f done for your workouts, rep ranges, sets, the exercises, the lot, meal plan, the targets, the macros, the meals, the recipes, everything. Completely fucking free. What do you have to lose? If you have no structure, you will not progress, you will not move forward. Get voting. Looks like we'll be getting back to some form of normality this summer. Um, how are you going to spend the next eight weeks? Have you gained a lot of weight in lockdown? Are you gearing up for the first summer holiday in two years? Then, it's time to, get to, time to get to work. If you want a completely free home workout guide and meal plan to get the ball rolling, just vote here or comment underneath meal plan or something like that and I will send you the link across. How you spend the next few months is completely up to you. We may or may not get out in the summer. I think we will now at this point. Um, it's looking good. So how are you going to spend your time? How are you going to invest your time? Are you just going to sit about and fucking laze about and not do anything so you hate working out at home? Or are you going to start making some progress with your nutrition, with your health, with your training, with your fat loss and get the best shape of your life? Because it's certainly possible. If you want to start that process, just vote there or comment meal plan underneath and I'll send you a free guide to get started. Currently 20 past 7. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm not sure. Just take my word for it. 
20 past 7 in the morning. I cannot tell you the power of getting up early. Getting up, I've been up for two hours, got hundreds of stuff done, done loads of work for the entire month of April, <laughs> um, for some of the posts and things that I put together. By 8 o'clock I will have finished all the filming for this as well, um, and the world's fucking not even started. If you're a business owner, if you're someone who's working on a side project or something like that, and you're struggling to fit the time in for it, get up early. Get up before everyone else is up. That's the only way you're going to dedicate your full effort, attention and energy to something that you want to move forward. I did it when I was in my 9 to 5. I would go up at quarter past 4. I would do an hour in my business before I went to work. That was the most productive hour of my day. In the, the, the previous two hours, the time this morning, this has been by far and away my most productive time of the way. So if you're stuck, if you're struggling to move forward, then get up early and get your shit done. What's your main goal just now? Are you starting the business? Are you doing something? What, what's your career goal? Do you want to keep doing what you're doing? If you do, that's fine, I'm just asking. Um, and for those who are ready now, after the, this week's announcement, um, to to start making progress towards their goal, fat loss and fitness goals for the summer, now's the, be the, the best time that there's, there's ever been. The world is going to be opening up this summer. We're going to be getting all these things up, hopefully. Um, and if, if you're ready to get in the best shape of your life, if you're ready to lose fat, get healthy, start making progress on those goals and get rid of the lockdown weight, then vote here for a free workout guide, a home workout guide and meal plan that will get you started or comment below. Let's get to work. Why am I talking to you with my top off? Because I want to show you that I do not have a lot of excess body fat. I have some, and that's fine, but I don't have lots. Why? Because I use something called flexible nutrition. The, the food choices that I make, yesterday I had an Andos. I actually had some Reese's Pieces as well, and it was a Wednesday. <laughs> like, I had one, fine. What's the issue? The reason I can stay reasonably lean and not gain a lot of fat throughout the year, the year is, I do not go on diets. I choose to live a lifestyle that I actually enjoy. We use something called flexible nutrition. This means that no food is off limits. You follow a plan, you set some targets, you work to them. Simple, you eat foods you enjoy. If you have ever been on a diet and you, do, you were eating foods you don't enjoy, that is the dumbest thing that you can ever do. It's not your fault. You've been lied to. You've been told that you need to go on a diet, you need to do this, you need to eat this way. Bullshit. You need to eat foods that you enjoy and get results. Do these foods have to be reasonably healthy, micronutrient dense and, and high in protein for some part? Yes, they do. But when calories and protein are equated, no two diet methods have been shown to be superior. Oh, but Andrew, just eating chocolate, you know, every other day or whatever, not, not unhealthy? No, but I'll tell you what is having lots of excess body fat. Start making choices that are going to last you a lifetime. When you learn to marry your nutrition approach and not treat it as a one night stand, that is when you will lose fat forever. If you want me to show you how to do this, comment fat loss below and I'll send you across a free plan to get started. I'm going to be doing a 10,000 calorie challenge on Saturday. So the prep starts for this now. And this takes into account the seven day period. So if you look at my daily calories, they're probably around 3,500 on average. Um, I, I could get exact numbers, but that would be roughly. So across the weeks, that's like, you know, 24,000 calories. Now, if I cut, you know, five, six, 750 to 1,000 calories from today, from tomorrow, and then a few days next week, that takes care of most of that additional calorie. So 1,000 today, maybe even 1,500 tomorrow, probably 1,500 to 2,000 on the Sunday, and then maybe 1,000 to 1,500 on the Monday. That will balance out. The Saturday will be filled with pure shite. Um, so the micronutrients won't be too high. Um, and the macronutrients will be very carbon fat based. Um, but prepping today to, to start a 10k calorie challenge on Saturday. Looking forward to it. Should be a, should be a decent lap. Way down this morning at 78 kilos bang on. I am cutting back my calories very much today. Um, so I'll probably only eat maybe 1,000 to 1,500 calories. Protein and carb based. Um, keep the fats relatively low. Tomorrow is my 10,000 calorie challenge. I am going to go and plan it out tonight. I will need to go and do a shop and plan it all out. 
um, and give it a bash. Um, what are your plans over the weekend? What is your current goal in terms of training? Is it fat loss? Is it building muscle? What is it that you, this your current goal just now? For those who are stuck at home, looking to, to work towards getting the best shape of life for things opening up in the summer this year, we are giving away a completely free home workout guide and meal plan. All you have to do is click here or reply guide or something to this story and I will send you across a completely free copy. No strings, just a completely free copy. You can start actioning it right now, tomorrow, today. Fully instructional exercises, meal plans, recipes, quantities, serving sizes, the lot. Everything is there. It's a totally comprehensive plan for you for free. What you in for? Today's the day. <clears throat> Doing the 10,000 calorie challenge. I've been up for a couple of hours, it's half eight, I haven't had anything to eat yet. I'm going to go and weigh myself. I did have a, some water in the coffee, as you can see there. Um, so the, the, wheel, the scale will be slightly higher than it should have been, fasted. Um, but let's go and weigh in and see what I come in at, and it'll be interesting to see what tomorrow's weight is. There you go, it's 37.6 kilos. Let's see what tomorrow comes in at. Be a lot more bloated than this tomorrow. This is meal one. So, some rolls and square sausage. Starting off with a Scottish steam, of course. Rolls and square sausage. There's a, there's a raging debate is it square or is it slice? Let me know what I'm for here. Square or slice? What one are you? And if you're American, just ignore this. <laughs> Let me clarify before we go any further. I do not condone this. I do not recommend it at all. Um, this is just something I'm doing for a challenge. I have adjusted calories days before and days after in order to deal with the calorie buffer. The choices I'm going to make today are very poor. I promote a healthy, flexible dieting approach that's high in protein and high in micronutrients. But I'm doing this for a laugh. Simply that. That is all it is for. Do not condone this at home. Um, just get that in there. This is meal number one. I'll put it into time lapse and make it happen. Right. Meal number one is down the hatch, so that is four rolls and square, and a packet of Tang Fastics. <laughs> I'll put my calories on the screen, kind of what the plans are for today, um, but I do have it planned out, so we'll see how it goes. The next up, two cream eggs. It is quarter to ten in the morning. <laughs> I've four rolls and sausage, four rolls and square sausage, pack up Tang Fastics, and I'm about to have two cream eggs. Currently half twelve. Um, doing some uh, back and biceps training, feeling pretty full, <laughs> even though I've only had the first meal. Um, so just getting this out of the way so I can actually spend the afternoon and evening eating. Next stop is going to be a large Domino's, I think, um, and then we'll take it from there. But getting this in before I start to feel too sick. It is around, what time is it, Amy? At one o'clock? <laughs> it's like one o'clock, half one. Half two. <laughs> Some time's off. Um, and now it's time for the big one. Domino's, chicken kickers and the garlic sauce. And that, large pizza of course, is more than 3,000 calories. So let's get into it. This is everything that's involved. Big dip, seven kickers. That is like a mighty meat pizza thing. Um, and that is large as well. So that's 3,000 calories. Let's set up the camera and give it a go. So, we're nearly there. There is one slice remaining. <laughs> I think I actually picked up the camera just to see battery wise and had 1% left. So, I'm going to give it a minute or two and I'm going to polish off this slice and that will be 
the seven chicken kickers. The seven kickers. A large pizza. And a sauce. Over 3,000. I think I'm probably over the 5,000 mark for the day now at this point. Thankfully. <laughs> probably closer to six. We'll see. I'm feeling quite full. <laughs> Not going to lie, I feel pretty, pretty sick. <laughs> um, just sipping some water. No Iron Brew Extra White Monster today. Um, don't want to get bagged up, of course. Oh, that's challenging. Going to try and finish off the last slice soon. But I will video it. Large pizza has finished. Nearly. Chicken gickers are finished. Probably over 6,000 calories now for the day. Feeling pretty full. But I'm going to try and maybe stomach something else now. We'll see what happens. Just finished the Tang Fastics. Really not doing well. <laughs> Feel absolutely terrible. Really definitely want to throw up just now. Um, I'm going to fight it. Definitely going to fight it. <laughs> and I will finish this tonight. Definitely. Went a walk. Ended up getting a stitch. <laughs> Didn't feel good. Don't feel good. <laughs> so I still got some Ben and Jerry's and ice cream. Uh, and a, a, an Easter egg to go. So And some Nutella as well. <laughs> going to try it. Going to give it a bash. But we'll see how I got on. One pint of Ben and Jerry's Switch It Up. I've got this, an Easter egg and some Nutella to go. Let's get into it. It's getting to quarter to nine, so it's getting quite late. <laughs> Still don't feel great, but let's see how it goes. Ben and Jerry's is gone. <coughs> <coughs> A little bit there. I've got some Nutella and an Easter egg to go. And I'm clear. There's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I feel like shit, but we're getting there. I'm going to tackle the Easter egg and then a couple of spoons of Nutella to finish it off. And I'm good to go. I'm head of sales one more time, I swear. Yeah. Nearly the final hurdle, Easter egg to go here. I'm across the, 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 certainly over the 9,000 calories now at this point, nine and a half maybe. A couple of teaspoons and a couple of tablespoons in the teller and that'll get us over it. Going to finish this and then just round it off. It has been a long, lonely winter. Egg wow. down. Seasonal affective disorder, aka sad. Two teaspoons of Nutella to go. Two tablespoons of Nutella to go. It is real. And I'm sorry for saying that. Yeah. This is the final stretch. Nutella, spoon. I'm not weighing it out. I need like 50 grams or something. I feel fucking shocking, to be perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> feel very sick. But we're going to get this over and done with. That's, honestly, that is, that is poor looking at that. That's about as poor form. Oh. That is hard going at this stage. My God. Oh, fuck. Terrible. I don't know why the hell I'm doing this. <laughs> One more. This is it, and I'm calling it. That's 10,000.
final hurdle. Come on. Mm. There we go. And that is 10,000 calories in a day. And that is something I probably wouldn't do again. <laughs> wow, I feel terrible. That's quarter past nine. I started around quarter past eight this morning, half eight this morning. Maybe slightly later, maybe about nine. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe 12 hours, 10,000 calories. Done. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, like, subscribe again. I do not condone this <laughs> in any way, shape or form. Um, I am a flexible dieting approach guy. Um, healthy, high protein. That's what you get all the majority of the time from me, but from today. But had to be done. Something I wanted to try. That's me ticked it off. See you on the next one. I was 77.6 this morning. It's actually not too bad. <laughs> it's actually a lot better than I expected. Says a 5% body fat off. <laughs> so that's only. That's only three kilos, that's actually not as bad, anywhere near as bad as I was expecting, quite surprised.